So it's Saturday night, and we are getting ready for tomorrow because it's a long drive to church, um, and we have to wake up early, so it takes us a long time to get ready for on Saturday. So we're putting curlers. So we we do the curlers in the hair, and that makes it a little bit easier to get all these girls ready. Um, and Rosie made bread. We usually. It's like an hour drive to church, so we pack snacks. We usually pack snacks. We some friends invited us over tomorrow um, after church. They live closer than we do, so we'll be doing that after church. And so Rosie made some beautiful bread today. She made French bread for the first time and did a fabulous job. The bread looks wonderful. And I and, really want to try it. And then she made um, flatbread and some regular loaves of bread just for us to have and, and whatever. So it's been a busy, busy day. And she's a good bread maker. Rosie is a good bread maker. So it's Sunday morning and we're taking curlers out. Look at this pretty girl. We've kind of finger combed it. Might need a little bit more. And my hair did its thing. So, we're getting ready for church. Huh. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, Philip. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Putting her. Why? <laughs> you got her for because the white warning turned into a tornado warning. Yeah, there's a tornado warning. So we're sitting in our our windowless tree room. Tree, our storage room. So we've got about 45 minutes to wait so far. That's how some of us are a little bit more upset than others. So. But it's our first tornado warning since moving out here. Utah doesn't really get tornadoes. Um, I, I mean, it's kind of like a, a freak of nature thing for Utah to get a, get a tornado. So, so we're waiting. These are our trees. So we were getting ready to plant before it started pouring. Yeah pouring rain so we've got our willows in here we've got our apple trees in here our elderberries in here they're they've got soil and whatever so fun times so our we got an update on our storm warning and the storm warning has uh, been canceled for our area it's still kind of raining but not nearly as hard but you can see these things coming out of the clouds. So I'm sure that's the rotation that they were seeing and why we had a warning to begin with. But all of a sudden it's not raining anymore. It was pouring, pouring, pouring rain. Yeah, so that whole Fortunately, we had gotten the animals put away and everything. <laughs> but I mean, you can see how there's kind of these little drips from the clouds. They're all going back up. They were but they're going, going back up. There's still some. This direction looks like maybe. But for our area, the storm has moved away. If you listen, you can hear all the frogs. That means it's going to be a sunny And you can see our pond way out there. Look at this cute little fluff butt. Okay, this is Rosie seems to bring this one in kind of a lot. She had in a spotted one earlier, but then the tornado warning went off <laughs> and we had to put them back. Darn it. We didn't want to stress them out by grabbing the same ones. She grabbed a brown one. Okay, so after our wonderful tornado warning, heavy rain, all that kind of thing, <laughs> we noticed, well, Rosie noticed, she goes, what's all that water from? Not really sure. Um, it's dark outside already. It's still supposed to rain tonight. But this is our fireplace. 
and it's leaking all over the hearth. But it's been pretty steady, seeing how we've got that much in probably about 10 minutes. So we're trying to figure out where it's leaking from and what we have to do to try and get it resolved without climbing on the really, really steep roof.